here with Jeff Stusek. He is the head coach this year for Team Saskatchewan, taking over the reins from Sheldon Gray, who led the team last year to a silver medal at the Football Canada Cup. This year's event is going to be hosted in Calgary, Alberta. Jeff, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, my pleasure. Jeff, my first question to you is for those people that don't know your playing and coaching background, can you give them a little bit of insight as to who you are? Sure. I, uh, I wasn't much of a player. I played through high school. Uh, then I went to university and uh, focused on school instead of football. So I became a coach right out of high school, though, and uh, I coached high school football for a number of years. Then uh, when my boys were younger uh, and started getting that football age, I coached uh, Regina Minor football for a number of years, then high school. Uh, but I've also been the U16 uh, head coach for Three years, the offensive coordinator for four. Uh, I also uh, coached U17. I coached the last two years uh, with the U18 team with Sheldon Gray. I uh, was the special teams coordinator. And I've also, the last two years, been the University of Regina Rams receiver coach. So a bit of a varied career. So let's talk a little bit about this year's version of Team Saskatchewan heading into Calgary for the Football Canada Cup. What can we expect this year from the team itself? You know, Saskatchewan teams are pretty consistent in, uh, in their character. Uh, we're usually a hard-nosed team, grinder type. We don't uh, boast a ton of stars. We come from a very small population province, uh, in province population-wise, but uh, we produce a lot of football players and a lot of guys that are tough. And uh, so you should expect the same, a, a, a nondescript but tough, hard-nosed football team. So let's l talk about your quarterbacks. Who are they sure. and what are their playing styles and how do they complement each other or how are they different? You know, we have three quarterbacks on the roster this year, which is a little unusual, one extra than normal. Most teams would carry two. Uh, but they're all very diverse, uh, from tall gunslinger to... Uh, cerebral, understands schemes and gets the ball in the right spot to <clears throat> to mobile. And so we have a lot of options, and I'd expect all three of those quarterbacks will see time throughout the tournament. And can you give us their names, please? Sure, yeah. Uh, Keegan Cater, who's a uh, uh, grade 11 student going into uh, his last year of foot, uh, high school football. Uh, Noah Pelche, who's from Belfort Collegiate here, and Luke Corning who uh, is the Miller quarterback in Regina. And as for the offense itself, what can we expect to see from them? And can you also name a few of the players to watch on offense? Sure. Um, you know, our offense uh, will be what most uh, Football Canada Cup uh, offenses look like, a good balance between run and pass. And I don't think there's, you know, anything wildly unexpected uh, Unless we're playing against you, and then you might should expect some things. So uh, it, it's going to be you know pretty standard stuff. Um, players to watch for us. We have a couple of returning players. Uh, so our, our left tackle Ethan Viber, who is a tremendous offensive lineman, is returning to the team from from last year's squad, and he's a force. Uh, Emmett Stedman, a receiver on the team, he's returning as well, and he kicked for us as well last year. So. Uh, we have a couple of returners on offense. We've got some experience. Another lineman, Tristan Capo, is returning. So we do have some sort of good turnover uh, experience on the, from from last year carrying through, and that character should carry through on our offense as well. And let's go on the flip side, defense. If you could again tell us what to expect there and a few players to watch. Sure. Um, you know our defense uh, typically, as over the last number of years, has been really tough. And uh, last year, we didn't uh, give up a touchdown all tournament up until the last game and the 19 seconds left in the game against uh, Quebec in the, in the gold medal final. Uh, I expect our defense to be tough. Again, we have a lot of returning players. Michael Clow uh, is a defensive end. He's from Miller, uh, collegiate in Regina. Uh, Ramsey Dervis is our linebacker, and he led our team last year in special teams tackles, and he is a force uh, in the middle for sure. Uh, we have two returning defensive backs in uh, Dylan Kiefer and Carson Sombach, both of who started and played, played a lot of time with us in the tournament last year. So I like that experience carrying through. 
Um, so we should be strong. We do have a number of young players, though, uh, a lot of 2002s on our team. And so I, I think how we're going to go as far as the 2002 players get adjusted to this tournament style. Okay. And you did touch a little bit on special teams, but can you talk about how important of a role they're going to have in this tournament? And also if there's a couple of players we could watch for there as well. Sure. Yeah, you know, um, we're, we're still figuring out uh, some of our special teams players uh, as we get to camp uh, starting on Monday. Uh, we're, we're still figuring out who our kickers and punters are, and so I'd like to tell you who they are. I, I don't know yet. Uh, we do have some good kickers uh, in camp, and so we're happy about that. Um, you know, our special teams are, are really important, and so I, I got the privilege of coaching that those uh, units last two years, and I, I know the, how they swing games and how it matters. Uh, we're going to be sound tacklers and uh, fairly consistent in that in that way. Uh, Ramsey Derbis, who I mentioned earlier, he'll play very well on our cover teams. Our returners like uh, Riker Frank, uh, who's a young player out of La Bolda in Saskatchewan, and Regina here, um, will certainly play a role. Uh, you know, we, we'll have a number of plays, players as we work through that. Um, but like I said, we're, we've still got some decisions to make on that side. What is the goal for Team Saskatchewan at the 2018 Football Canada Cup? You know, there, there really is only one goal, and it's to, to win gold. Uh, Saskatchewan has won silver three out of the last four, losing that gold medal game. It's a privilege and honor to get to that game. Uh, we need to win that game. That is our goal. Um, that being said, this is a tough run for uh, the Saskatchewan squad as far as how the tournament is laid out. Uh, we play Manitoba first. Manitoba is a rival. Manitoba is tough. And we do not accept that their seventh place ranking last year is any reflection of the team that we're going to face. And uh, we are completely focused on Manitoba. And we'll worry about game two next. Well, you've just led right into the next question, which is you are playing Manitoba sure. in the first game of the tournament. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about what preparation you've done for them? How much do you know about them? And uh, just what you're expecting out of that game against them? You know, I, I've coached against Manitoba a fair amount. We, we faced them two years ago uh, at U18 and in U16. We faced the Manitoba teams. That was kind of quarter of the tournament. So I've, I've faced a lot of Manitoba teams. What I think this squad might be different uh, because... Uh, I'm really, I respect deeply their coaching staff. Uh, they've assembled uh, Coach Carhut, uh, along with his defensive coordinator and offensive coordinator, are very, very strong coaches. I can only assume the position coaches are strong. Um, so we're going to see a very disciplined Manitoba team. Manitoba always has athletes. And so they produce a lot of players that go up to youth sports and have great success. And they expect athletes uh, to come from that squad, and so we have to be ready to uh, to take them on on the field and and be disciplined and be focused. If you could describe Team Saskatchewan's this year's version in one word, what would it be, and why? Uh, this is a team that's going to be gritty, and uh, they're going to be striving and driving towards that goal uh, in any way, shape. Form that it has to take. Uh, this is a this is a group of players that can do and will do whatever it takes for us to be successful. They've been working hard to this point. They're going to work hard over the next week and a half before we go to uh, the Canada Cup. Uh, but it will be a gritty team, and uh, it's not going to be flashy. It's not going to be pretty, but it's uh, we're, we're 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 okay winning six three if that's how we have to win. But if we have to get in the shootout, then that's what we're going to do as well. Jeff, how many returning players do you have coming back from last year's team? I think we have nine coming back from last year. So that's quite a few. Uh, the year before, I think we only had six carried through. So, uh, But, like I said, we probably have nine young players this year, too, that will hopefully be on the team next year. So uh, I, I like that number. I, it gives us some youthfulness. At some level, the difference between a 16- and a 17-year-old player 
might be negligible, um, you know, depending on their level. Uh, we have a couple of really notable young players, and Tyson Krushelniski, who's a linebacker out of Saskatoon, and then Leif Magnuson, who is a defensive end out of Saskatoon. Both are very high uh, high recruits, uh, high, highly sought after at the next level, both Division One and, and youth sports level. So I expect them to be significant contributors to us. They're not there to sit on the bench. And uh, so we, our young guys are expected to be um, important providers for our team. How important is the support of family, friends, fans, uh, anybody in the Saskatchewan community when it comes to playing in a tournament such as this? It's, uh, it's really important uh, for lots of reasons. One is, uh, you know, to, to be able to get away for the two weeks uh, for some, some of our players and certainly some of our coaches, they have responsibilities back at home and you need that support and, and that sort of family support, whether it's financial or time or resources, to come here. Um, that being said, it is actually fun playing in front of a crowd that's noisy. And, um, you know, we, we were in Nova Scotia last year and we had a lot of Saskatchewan folks show up. As well, uh, it, we expect more in Calgary because the trip is uh, it's more accessible for the Saskatchewan folks to, to get there. Uh, we also know that a number of them watch online, and so the streaming is critical. Uh, I know by the number of you know comments, whether through Twitter or through text message after games, the number of people that are watching. So sometimes you don't hear that support during the game, but you know it's there. So uh, we know Saskatchewan is a strong supporter of uh, this U18 program, whether they have kids in the, in the program or not. A number of people, they sort of plan their summers a little bit around watching these games uh, streamed online, even if they can't be at the events. So we're, we're, we're excited about our support. We know there's lots. Being from Saskatchewan, we're very used to, you know, the riders getting the support and the Rams and Thunder and Hilltops and Huskies. We all get great support. So we expect the same for our U18 program. Jeff, my final question, what are you most looking forward to at the 2018 Football Canada Cup? Uh, you know what, it's, it's, a, it's a fairly transformative experience for the boys, and uh, honestly, they start, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> they started as young men, young boys, boys in, in the process, by the time they're done, they're young men, and it's, it's really exciting. I, I love the games. I love the uh, competitiveness. Um, I also like getting the text messages from the parents to say, you know, my boy is different, and he's responsible all of a sudden, and he gets up early, and he makes his bed, and he does all those things he never used to do. And so that's really the goal for me, and that's why I coach, uh, is to help uh, create these productive young men in society. Not, uh, I'm not in it just for the love of the game, although the love of the game is certainly part of it. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Looking forward to Calgary. That is Jeff Stusek. He is taking over the reins as head coach for Team Saskatchewan from Sheldon Gray. They are heading into the Football Canada Cup in Calgary, Alberta as the defending silver medalists.